everyone, I am Teacher Will and welcome back to Statistics and Probability Subject. This is the second uh, video of Module 2 Normal Distribution and for today's video lesson, we will learn more about Standard Normal um, Distribution. Okay, so let's start. Kung matatandaan ninyo from our previous video, we have learned that the Standard Normal Distribution has the mean 0 and Standard Deviation equal to 1. And this is what a... Um, standard normal curve looks like and the normally distributed random variable under this standard normal curve is known as the standard normal variables siya, or um, denoted by the z which is also um, called as z scores or z values so same same lang ang ibig sabihin niya wherein again the mean is at, is at the center equal to zero above zero we have one two and three and below zero, we have negative one, negative two, and negative three. Okay? So, ginagamit natin itong mga standard um, score na to, or yung mga z-values na to, to represent yung mga raw scores na malalaki na yung values that, kung makikita nyo nga, hindi na kayang i-accommodate ng baseline na ating normal curve. As well as in our um, z-table, as you can see sa ating z-table, we have the z-score zero to three. Only. So, we cannot longer accommodate large values of raw scores. That's why we have to standardize it to V score. And on the other hand, if gusto naman nating malaman yung raw score, yung specific um, standard normal variable Z natin, pwede din natin siyang i-convert. So, let's proceed. So, here's the formula that we can use to convert a normal random variable X to standard normal variable Z. Okay, so for population um, data, we have z is equal to the x minus um, the population mean all over the population standard deviation. So, yung z, ito yung ating converted um, z score. And yung x, ito yung raw score or yung given measurement na gusto natin convert to, to z. And ganun din naman yung formula for um, sample. Um, the given measurement minus the sample mean all over the sample standard deviation. Let's have examples para mas uh, maintindihan natin kung paano gamitin itong formulas na to. Gamit ang formula natin na z is equal to the given measurement minus the mean all over um, standard deviation, we can derive the formula that we can use to convert naman yung standard normal variable z to normal random variable x. Let's evaluate this um, formula in terms of x. So, cross multiplication, we have z times um, standard deviation is equal to x minus the mean. So, since we need uh, to evaluate in terms of x, um, using addition property of equality, we add both sides with a mean. So, we will have x is equal to z, the product of z and the standard deviation plus the mean. Okay. Ayan. So, same lang sila nito. Ayan siya. So, ganun lang siya i-derive. Siyempre, para mas maintindihan natin, let's have examples in using this formula. Alright, example number one. Given the mean equal to 50 and standard deviation equal to 5 of a population of statistics and probability scores, find the z-value that corresponds to the score x is equal to 65. So, kailangan natin i-convert itong ating 65 Sa z. So, let's na natin ano yung mga given natin. Ang mga given natin, we have the mean, um, 50. We have the population standard deviation, 5. And the given measurement is 65. And again, we want to find the z value that corresponds dito sa ating 65. So, kailangan lang natin yung formula natin. Ang formula, okay, solution. So, yung formula natin is um, z is equal to Tulat natin para lagi natin matandaan yung formula. Then, substitute natin. The given measurement is 65 minus the mean. We have 50 all over standard deviation, 5. Yeah. And dito na lang. 65 minus 15, we have 15, right? Over 5. And 15 divided by 5 is 3. Kung i-illustrate natin siya in normal curve, ayan. And let's draw a standard um, normal curve. We have 1, 2, 3, and negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. Yung mean natin is 50. So, kung ang standard deviation is 5, mag-add lang tayo ng 5 para dito sa unang standard deviation. 
50 plus 5, we have 55. Uh, 55 plus 5, we have 60. Mm -hmm. 60. Then, uh, 60 plus 5, we have 65. Ganun naman din sa so below the mean, ma-minus lang natin below 50. 50 minus 5, we have 45. 45 minus 5, we have 40. And 40 minus 5, we have 35. Okay. So, ayan ang itsura ng um, normal distribution natin when the mean is 50 and the standard deviation is 5. So, kung makikita ninyo, ang standardized score niya is 3. Okay. Score, x is equal to 65 corresponds to z is equal to 3. We can say that with respect to the mean, the, z, the score of 65 is above average. Okay? All right, example number two, the mean 20, 20 and standard deviation 10 of a set of summative scores of a grade 11 class. Find the Z value that corresponds to the score 32. Itong 32 ang kailangan natin i-convert. So let's um, write muna yung ating mga given. Identify natin. So we have the population mean 20. We have the population standard deviation 10. And again, the given measurement is 32. So, kailangan lang natin siyang i-convert using the formula. We have the Z is equal to um, given measurement minus the mean all over standard deviation. Let's substitute 32 minus 20 all over um, 10. Yeah. So, 32 minus 20, we have 12. Tama? 12 over 10. And 12 over 10 is equal to, divide lang natin, we have one point. Okay, yan yung ating equivalent um, C-score. Ipakita natin yung illustration under um, standard normal curve. Drawing lang muna natin. Okay, ayan, normal curve. Then, 0, 1, 2, 3. Negative 1, negative 2, then negative 3. Yes. Bali, ang mean kasi natin ay 20. So, ang standard deviation ay 10, plus 10, plus 10 lang. Plus 10, we have 30. Then, plus 10, we have 40. Then, 50. Then, ganun din, below the mean, we have 20 minus 10 is 10. 10 minus 10 is 10, uh, 0. Uh, 0 minus 10 is negative 10. Yeah. So, bani, ang ating um, score na 32 is banda dito siya. 32. So, hindi natin banda dito. Yan. Yeah. Ang 32 natin, ito yung 32, which is, on the z-score niya is 1.2. Yan, around 1.2 siya. Okay? The z-value that corresponds to a score x is equal to 32 is 1.2 in a population distribution. Yan. So, above the above average din siya. Okay? Next. So, let's read. A pre-test was given to tourism 11 plus with a mean 30 and standard deviation 10. If a student's z-score is negative 1, then what is the score of the student before the conversion? Yan. So, ngayon, ang z-score natin is negative 1. Ano daw tong score na to na negative 1, which is below the mean? Tama? Kasi negative eh. Alam na natin below the mean yan. So, ano kaya yung score na yan? So, identify muna natin yung given. We have, tayo nyo na mag-work, given, the mean is 30, um, standard deviation 10, and the C-score is negative 1. So, ngayon, solve natin, convert lang. The formula is um, x is equal to mean plus the Z, the product of Z and standard deviation. Yeah. So, yung mean natin is 30. Then, add natin siya sa product ng Z. Negative 1 times 10. Yeah. So, negative 1 times 10 is negative 10. So, let's go 30 plus negative 10. Yeah. That is equal to 20. And positive 20. So, let's illustrate its um, normal curve. And... 0, 1, 2, 3, then negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Yeah. Ang mean natin ay 30. Since ang standard deviation ay 10, plus 10, plus 10, you have 40, 50, 
16. Then below the mean, we have minus 10 minus 10, 20, 20 minus 10, 10, 10 minus 10 is 0. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito, yan. Diyan pa lang, ang z niya, tala, ang z niya is negative 1. Okay, well, so, paano ang interpretation natin na yan? Um, therefore, this raw score that corresponds to 2 z is equal negative 1 is 10 in a population distribution. And it is below average. And a farmer recorded that this past 2020, he only gained a mean 20 and the standard deviation 5 stocks of rice in each hectare due to the typhoon. If he assumed that he had less stocks of rice equivalent to negative 1.6, how many stocks would there be? Given, we have the population mean, sorry, and we have the standard deviation, 5. So, itong inahanap niya ngayon, kung ilang socks, ilang sako ng bigas, inahanap natin ngayon kung ilang sako ng bigas, itong negative 1.6. Okay? So, ang negative 1.6 natin is the, um, the Z. So, inahanap natin yung raw score na bilang ng uh, socks. Okay, kung ito yung random variable natin. So, we have x is equal to the mean plus standard deviation and c. So, add lang natin. 20 plus the product of 5, product of 5 times negative 1.6. Yes, 12. So, 12 yung, ati, yung equivalent um, raw score niya. Kung so, i-illustrate natin siya sa standard normal curve, yun siya, 0, 1, 2, 3, then negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Ang ating mean ay 20, 5, 5, so 25, 30, 35. We have um, uh, 15, 10, and 5. Yan. So, ang hinahanap kasi natin yung equivalent ng negative 1.6, which is standard curve. Ang gawin ko, ang banda dyan yung negative 1.6, which is, ito po ay yung 12. Yeah. So, paano ang interpretation na? There will only be 12 stocks of rice. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, mas mababa siya dun sa average na number of stocks na naanin niya. Right, so that's all for this video. We will continue our um, discussion on the next video. Make sure to hit the notification bell to get updated with our lessons. Bye!